All right, we're back with some more David Bowie. We're checking out the song Young Americans. Let's get into it. I'm trying to figure out what this what is going on here. Yeah, me too. But like the way he's uh, delivering the words, it's kind of artistic. <laughs> Something like that. You know, sometimes artists have like fragmented sentences like yeah. on purpose. It's like poetry or something like that. So it's kind of hard to follow. I, feel I like... found myself at one point like reading behind in the lyrics. I was like rereading like, what? <laughs> you what like did scanning he say? the text for more Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, what did he say? Yeah, I feel like, okay, the girl and the guy... Pulled up in a car and under a bridge, and right. they did the thing, and she got pregnant. Okay. okay. But then what's the rest? But then, uh, she was talking about where's all the heroes. And yeah, exactly. That kind of, I was confused. But uh, this all, all right part, whatever, I feel like that is from a commercial or something. Just the all right. Oh, like they use this? Yeah, like something. It sounds familiar, just that little part. Wants a young American. Do you remember your president Nixon? Do you remember the bills you have to pay?
Mm. Okay. I don't know, but it seemed like he was just like looking at different parts of life that young people go through in America. Right. You know what I mean? Some of depression right. and razors and beating up your Afro Sheen woman blushing. And all kind of stuff. And pimps. So how does that tie into like I want the young American? Like young American dream? Well he's not even American. He's from the UK. So that's what I was thinking. Like he wants the he wants but to But he was be, saying like a lot of negative stuff. But I think I think part of that negative is like, wow, ignorance is bliss. Like the negative it's like the fact that the young American could be so like consumed with like I'm gonna be a pimp and a hustler and, like you know what I mean? Like the so like where must your mind be to have so few problems? So, I mean I that, feel like he's being sarcastic. Oh see, I think he I don't think so. I think he was saying like it's uh admirable to like you know what I mean and not even I don't even say admirable but it's like it's kind of like aspirational to be so carefree. Like to be like that you're hitting women. Well, but not just that. But I'm saying like to sit there and ponder Afro Sheen and blushing and like I feel like he maybe was saying like the young American didn't have as many problems as other people. You know what I mean? But I feel you. But he was talking not, about some real problems. He was, but it's like it wasn't like first world problems. Like oh the Wi-Fi is down. No, he's like you're depressed. You're carrying a razor. So I guess if right. you want to cut yourself or something, but you're beating women. And hustlers. Yeah. And like they drive a caddy. Like you're not. You didn't grow up. Remember you said something yeah, like that? Yeah, basically like wannabe pimps and, and stuff. And there's like no stories from the ghettos or something like that. I don't know. To me, he was kind of like, he was commenting on how like the young American can be so like blind to like the real problems at hand sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Because those problems are better than like, um, can't, can't find, find food. Can't find food. Yeah, can't eat. Literally. I literally, I just watched a video last night and it was talking about like the coming like next five years famine and like so many parts of the world is going to be a huge problem. Especially for young children. Like, they literally can't get adequate nutrition. Yeah, in those parts of the world, there probably isn't much depression. Right. When you're in survival like, mode. They might be depressed, but it's like, even just like, would they even register what that is? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how far up do you have to sort of climb to be able to get the treatment? You know what I mean? But yeah. in, we're over here talking about like, oh, you know, all kinds of issues that are like, kind of like serious, but it's like privileged to even think in that way. Even like obesity. Yeah, right? Try to be you obese. You got countries that are trying to, like, like it's like a sign of wealth. Yeah, like, try to be obese in a country where it's hard to get food. Yeah, right. Unless you're part of the elite class or something. Like, good luck. Right? I feel like he was commenting on, like, young Americans don't think about that. Like, generally... But if he's not from America, what does he know? Well, he moved to America and got famous, so... Probably a lot. I mean, the industry and stuff, you know what I mean? His target so audience... So he was famous and friends with a bunch of young people? Well, he was young. Probably. I don't know, but I mean, I figure he is, he's an immigrant and he's famous and he's like commenting on what he observes amongst young Americans. Not all Americans, just young Americans. You know what I mean? But then it was like, it's so weird. It's like weird because it was like, some of it was like legitimate problems. Like, you know, clocking the girl in the face or whatever. But yeah. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.